Okay, here we're going to find the remaining trig values using that sine theta equals 3 fifths and angle theta is between 0 and pi over 2. So one thing you want to remember is the relationship between angle and uh, sides of the triangle. So for given trig function, uh, which is sine theta, it's ratio of opposite to hypotenuse. Then cosine of theta is ratio of adjacent to hypotenuse. And tangent of theta is op opposite to adjacent. And then we have cosecant of theta, which is just 1 over sine of theta, so we just flip sine of theta. To find secant of theta, we just flip cosine of theta. And to find cotangent of theta, we just flip tangent of theta. So if we go back to our sine of theta, which is 3 over 5, we get that opposite equals 3, hypotenuse is 5, therefore the remaining side is 4, because it's well-known triangle of 3, 4, 5. But also we can find uh, this side uh, using Pythagorean theorem. So now we're going to find cosine of theta and at first we're going to make all trig functions positive and then according to our angle we're going to adjust them. So at first we're going to just find cosine of theta which is adjacent to hypotenuse so that's going to be 4 fifths. Then tangent of theta it's opposite to adjacent. Then to find cosecant of theta, we're going to just flip sine of theta, which is 3 fifths, so that's going to be 5 over 3. To find secant of theta, we're going to just flip 4 fifths, so that's going to be 5 over 4. And to find cotangent of theta, we're going to find just 1 over tangent of theta, that's going to be 4 over 3. So now, uh, it says that our angle somewhere is between 0 and pi over 2, so in terms of unit circle, this angle somewhere in the first quadrant. So that means that all trig functions are going to be positive in the first quadrant, so we're not going to change anything, so that's going to be our answers.